Hi guys, this is Christina from Redefine Creative, and I am super excited to be participating in the December Memories YouTube Hop today. So do make sure that you click and check out down below where I have links to all of the ladies who are participating today and showing you a little glimpse into some of their December projects or their December daily. This is the first video that I have shown any of my progress. I am not up to date, so you are just going to see the first few days and some work I've done on my introduction pages. And then I also want to show you some goodies that I've picked up in some of the stores while I've been out Christmas shopping that I thought you might want to also have a chance to pick up and include. And then I will also come back next Saturday with another video showing you the next section that I have finished of pages in my album. All right, so without further ado, I am using this 6x8 Allie Edwards um, album for my December Daily. And I am using products from a ton of different companies inside. So if I don't mention where something is from and you have a question, please just leave me a comment below and I will let you know which collection or where that, that stuff came from. All right, so for my title page right now, this is what I have in here. And so this is just an acetate piece. And this came in an old studio cow at the bottom. So I just have 2016 right now. I don't know if I'm finished with my introduction pages. I've kind of been working on them as I go. Um, so we'll see where this changes before I see you again. Um, and then in this first page protector, which is just a full size 6x8, I have the red and the white stars because I liked how those two things looked layered together. And then on the back of that, I have my reasons why. So I just go through and talk about why I'm doing this project. I've added a couple little Christmas trees and some enamel hearts down here at the bottom, but I've kept this page pretty simple. And then I also have a calendar that I downloaded for the month of December, but I have not added our events to it yet. So I have a list that I'm keeping just in a Word document that I printed out where I'm keeping a list of all of the events and things, and I'll come back in and finish this as we get closer to the end of the month. So then after that starts my first day, and the first day is always all about the advent calendars for my kids. Um, so this up here is just a larger photo, but it had a bunch of white space, so I've just journaled inside of that. Added some little embellishments, nothing too, too big and major. And then I pulled one of these black and white uh, bags and just punched holes in it to include. And this is the same bags that my, my kids are using with their advent calendars. And then I've just added a little die cut at the top. As you can see, I have this paper clip here. So if you go ahead and pull this out, it just has joy and the number one. And then my journaling is all on the back. And so that just kind of lives inside that little pocket. And then the next page is just more pictures from this first day of the advent calendar, as well as a little bit more journaling as um, a little bit of a different twist that we have put on our advent calendars this year. And then I also got an extra set of these stickers from the dollar spot at Target. Because I use them on the kids' bags themselves, I also wanted to include one on this page in the book. So that's day one. Day two is all about going to a theater production. Um, every year we go to some kind of Christmas play and we usually pick a different one every year. And so this year, one of Parker's friends was actually in a Christmas production. And so she sent Parker an invitation to go. So we decided to use that as this year's um, December or Christmas play. So I've kept this page kind of simple, just some pictures of my kids all dressed up, a picture of Parker and his friend who did an amazing job in the play. And then this little insert here is just, this is the invitation that she had given him to come to her play. So I included that, but I put just a washi tape border and then this little tab um, stapled in up at the top. And then when you flip it over, I did my journaling because there was quite a bit on the computer and then just put that onto the back. And then I absolutely loved this picture of my daughter. So I blew this one up to full size and then added just a little embellishment cluster down here in the bottom. This tag right here is actually from Target and it comes in a pack that looks like this and it's actually Christmas tags to use, you know, when you're wrapping packages and things. Um, but I really liked how some of these would be able to work within this album as well. And this one was just perfect for housing my little number two for day two. 
All right, and then day three, we had one kind of story planned, and then my youngest son lost his front tooth. And so that, of course, became the story of the day because he made a very panicked request telling us that he absolutely had to ask Santa for a new front tooth, even though he had already done his letter to Santa, we had to change that. Um, so that became the story of the day. And I added just some little embellishments up here in the top. And I covered my number three from the Allie Edwards kit with some washi tape and put that down here in the bottom. And it is on some pop dots so that it stands out a little bit more. And then I took this piece, and this is from the Cartabella Ephemera pack from the Christmas Delivery Collection. And I added a tab on the edge and this little snowflake. And then I just said, Dear Santa, I need to add one front tooth to my Christmas list, please. Love, Ty. And then I just made this out like it was a postcard to Santa. And I used the gorgeous Jen um, alphabet that she created for Felicity Jane um, in her in her brush script lettering to write that out. And I love how that looks. And you're going to see this font show up throughout the entire album because it is just perfect for this project. And then I just took some pattern paper and a couple little word stickers and added them to the back. And then the other thing going on this day was my daughter was helping climbing up the ladder with us watching her and helping us decorate the outside of our house and so doing the front yard directions. And I just kept this pretty simple. I carried the ornaments across the page. And then I also have one down here and it just says it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. So I'm keeping my pages fairly simple. And I'm really enjoying putting in little inserts like this. Um, just to add some interest to the pages. And then we have day four. And day four also has a little insert. So on this side, we went for a new tradition this year we went to a cookie decorating um, class, basically, at a, a local cookie store. And what they did is they just gave us kits and the kids got to decorate and have fun and play around with all of the, all the goodies that they had. And there you see that same font is showing up again. And then I just have this number four. And then I took a four by six photo of my kids each holding their favorite cookie that they had decorated. And then because of the configuration of my pages and where it was, I ended up splitting it in half to fit it into the two pockets. And I actually really like how that adds just a little bit of detail to that photo. And then I have a number four here that I color covered in like red glitter washi. But then I also wanted to put in this clear acetate four. And I just put some washi tape over the edge because the holes did not completely match up with this album. So I punched some new holes once I had that washi tape on there. And then I added a couple of tabs and some enamel hearts. And then I did that same d detail on the back. So that no matter which way you're looking at it, there is that little detail on there. And then I took one of the 2 by 2 pockets and just included a bunch of pictures of my kids working on decorating their cookies and then each of their final plates of cookies as well. And I do want to go back and put names with these to whose cookies are whose. And then I took just this pattern paper. This is also from the Cartabella Christmas Delivery. And then these stickers are an older Heidi Swap set. And they were actually in, they came from Joann's. And they had a line of like baking stuff from Heidi Swap. And so it was intended to be used as packaging on things that you bake and were giving to other people. But they actually worked perfectly to add a little bit of detail on this layout about my kids making cookies. So it was a perfect little addition. And then the back of this page, I have just kind of taken an idea I've seen a lot of people doing online. So I've added those two by two squares of different pattern papers. And this is also from Cartabella Christmas Delivery. And then I just took my silver thickers and spelled out Happy Holiday. Just because the pages that are coming next, I didn't necessarily need this two by two square because I don't have a lot of photos for the next layout. So this is just, just kind of acting as a filler page right now. And so that's where I am so far. So I'm not keeping up with the days, but I am also not giving myself stress and anxiety trying to make sure that I stay on top of every single day. I do have all the photos. I, I have already done kind of notes and a schedule of what I'm going to talk about on each day to tell our Christmas stories. All right, so that's where I am so far. I will be back next Saturday with another layout showing you, another video showing you my progress. But I did want to show you three 
I think I have three. Three little things that I have picked up while I have been out Christmas shopping that I plan to include in my next set of layouts. So I did want to show these to you in case you haven't seen them or wanted to go pick them up. One of them is these cute little gift cards, and these are from Nordstrom. But I thought that this was gorgeous and would add a really neat detail. I do plan on hole punching it and just putting it directly into the album or having it float in a, in a bigger pocket um, where this is the only thing in there. So that was one thing that I picked up to use. Um, another one was this, and this is also a little ornament, but we went to a Harry Potter holiday ball um, last night for yesterday's pages that are coming, and they were having the kids decorate these little ornaments, and they just have a plain snowflake on the back. What I was thinking I want to do is make this into a tag and then hole punch it to go inside this page in the book. And then I believe what I'm going to do is journal um, across the back. So I'm either going to print that out on vellum or I'm just going to write directly on here with a thicker pen. So that was also something I picked up. Didn't cost anything, but will make a neat little addition to my album. And then the last one um, is this letter paper. And you can get this at Macy's. They leave this out for the kids to write letters to Santa. So it just has this on one side and then some Dear Santa just paper on the other side. What I want to do with this is to hole punch it into my book just as it is and do my journaling about the Santa letters and kind of include some of the things that my kids put in their letter to Santa. And so that will be part of my album too. So all three of those are little things that you can pick up that make neat little additions, something a little bit different to include in your albums. So I hope you enjoyed everything that I showed you today. Do make sure that you check out our sponsors and comment on as many videos as you can so you get as many entries as you can into our prize drawing. And we want to send a huge thank you to Tombow, April Lily, Paper Cakes, Spiegel Mom Scraps, Click Kits, and The Cut Shop for being our sponsors on this December Memories YouTube Hop. And I hope you will come back again soon and see me. Do make sure you click like and subscribe. And if you have any questions about where I got certain products, please put those down in the comments below. Have a great day.